Hey there YouTube, this is SJM4306 and I'm back at it. Um, again, I know I said I wouldn't mod this Game Boy, but I kind of couldn't help myself because I did the um, the digital uh, touch sensitive inversion biversion mod on my DMG. I wanted to see how it would look like on a biverted uh, Game Boy uh, pocket here. And so I just, uh, you know, spent the night modding this guy. And this was some of the most difficult soldering that I've had to do uh, just because of how little space, free space there is inside the Game Boy Pocket. So let me just switch it on and show you. The touch sensor is up in this corner here. So if I press and hold, you can see a red glow there. And it'll actually go through and uh, change the... The palette whether it's inverted or not turn that down I can switch through the colors just like normal on the other uh, DMG there and obviously invert it uninvert it so yeah basically uh, this was <laughs> What I wanted to do I'd finally figured out so let me grab the other uh, Game Boy Pocket I have Presto Changeo. So this was the first uh, Game Boy Pocket I modded, and this is a lot more complicated the way I wired this than the, uh, the way I wired uh, the newer one. So here I had a separate board. I've done away with that entirely. I'll show pictures, but I've uh, directly surface mounted the chip in the uh, side here, and I scraped off a bit of the ground. I soldered it right to the board itself. Uh, no extra circuit board, so that means that it's a lot cleaner. There's a lot less... Um, like fiddling to do around with it. On top of that, I uh, rerouted the wires just to go over to the side so I can solder the chip there. This extra DC-DC, I figured out uh, the resistance that I've used on this unit, which is actually kind of dusty, uh, is way too low. Uh, which is why when I directly connected my chip to 5 volts, um, the Game Boy Pocket had trouble powering on, and it was just drawing too much current. So on this unit, I've used a, a little bit of a larger resistor. I think this one I used um, probably 15 or 20 ohms. This guy I used 100, and you can see it's still bright enough to use, as I accidentally touched the touch sensor. But yeah, it's uh, good enough, uh, bright enough to use. It's still fully functional, plenty bright enough. And I'm able to run my chip directly off the built-in 5-volt rail in this guy now. I do not need this extra little DC-DC converter board. Additionally, I'd moved um, my touch sensor and I pretty much swapped the places. The Bivert chip that I used in this guy is an XOR chip. This was just a regular uh, NAND, I believe. And so I moved that uh, next to the ribbon cable a little bit before and it kind of bends the cable over a little bit sits in the top here and the touch sensor I moved all the way into the corner here and I shaved it down much more so this guy you can see that um, the touch sensor here is a little bit of a tight fit and there's still a gap around the top here and um, the issue I was having was um, these little touch sensor boards are a little bit too wide so I actually uh, took a sanding drum on my Dremel and I shaved it down and I had to reroute one of the traces uh, because it cut out um, because I had to remove a little bit too much material in order to fit it in the, the side here. And the center is actually a little bit wider uh, because of the design, the front bows out. And so, yeah, uh, that was basically what happened there. Uh, so I was able to kind of optimize uh, installation uh, on these units Um this would be possible. Um, I'm, I'm sure I could probably end up sell, selling these, but it would cost quite a bit because of how much work that I had to actually put in uh, manual labor in terms of uh, cutting things down to size, uh, rewiring. I'll show you a picture. Of uh, the ridiculously tiny solder pads I had to get to for the uh, biversion mod itself, the, well, the XOR switch by version mod but yeah you can see everything works and it is absolutely awesome i can just switch through the colors
and there you go just wanted to make a quick video and i will see you guys later bye